Good morning, everyone. We head to the gym. It's hot as hell, but this is Los Angeles, and that's normal. And we are going to talk today about... Well, let me just explain it. No, we don't need to play copyrighted music, thank you. We need to go backwards so I can't look at you guys for a moment. Actually, I shouldn't look at you guys at all. You're going to see me looking on the road. But today we're going to talk about, is it a man's like duty or responsibility to 100% of the time protect their uh, wife and kids? And I'm going to specify wife and kids because uh, I was watching this kind of, I guess it was like a clip of a debate. Anyway, I, basically in the middle of Abba and Preach, and I do watch Abba and Preach, and for the most part I don't. I don't dislike them. I think that they make some valid points sometimes, but I don't necessarily SD card full. Oh God, I got to change that. Uh, I don't necessarily agree 100% of the time with what they have to say. I would say I agree maybe like 70% of the time if I'm, if I'm honest. Uh, but they were basically saying that, you know, if you hear an intruder breaking in downstairs, uh, is it the man's duty to confront said intruder? And, like, one person debating, it wasn't Evan Preach, they were watching a clip. I don't even know what the clip was, you can look it up. One person basically said, yes, absolutely, a man has to go down. And I think that's the point Abba and Preach were also making, is that it's a man's duty, he has to go down and, you know, protect his family. And the other guy was kind of saying, no, your survival is the most important thing. And I'm like, you know, like, those are like the two only answers that exist in like the universe. Sorry if you're getting a little bit of glare, but okay, it's slightly better. Um, because I was thinking about this. Why is it always like a zero sum game? And why is it always like a, this is the answer or that is the answer? Like, I'm like, eh, that, that, that's not how things work. Like no relationship is 100% one way or the other. At least I don't think it is. And I say that off the fact that, you know, I've been with my husband for 11 years. We've been married for six years and, and you know, we have our, 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 uh, our weird marriage, I guess you could say, as people say, like, I don't know if I could call it an open marriage, but that would be kind of like a misnomer since none of us, neither of us have time to ever get laid with anybody. So we make that joke, but in terms of like traditional aspects of femininity and masculinity, uh, you know, it's it's not so black and white. And I'm not saying my husband's going to be a cook or anything like that. He, he is most definitely faster and stronger than I am. And he's also way better at math. Uh, you know, he has his aspects that he's better at. I He'll cook. I don't much care for his cooking because he's always on a health kick and he says it's more about the health than the taste and I'm like can't we find some kind of happy medium here but the point I bring this up is that I thought about this situation I was like if somebody broke into our place what would happen you know and, and like I said my husband is definitely like stronger than me but like he's five five he's not like the strongest man in the universe and we have a kid so in my head and we've both talked about this me and my husband's priority is our child, not each other, in terms of safety. It's our child's safety. And if I thought for a second, you know, somebody's broken in and there's really no way out except through the, like, second story window, my husband is way better at climbing out of that window and grabbing my daughter than I am. Uh, that's not to say we both shouldn't try to escape, but I would definitely hope that he would try and grab my daughter and run to safety first. In fact, we've had this conversation and if we said, if we're ever in a situation where a shooting is happening, do not look for each other, find the exit. Whoever has, you know, our daughter, like definitely find the exit. Not even both of us, both find the exit. So one of us is gonna have the kid inevitably. But I thought to myself like, yeah, like whoever's more capable in that situation should be who takes whatever point of view. Now, like, first off, I don't know if anyone should be confronting anybody unless you have a gun. I mean, we do have a gun, so, like, would my husband go and confront them? No, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we'd both go and confront them because I think, like, you know, if two people are confronting you, it's, uh, 
it's a matter of numbers at that point. You want to be like seeming like there's more people in the house, so maybe this is not going to be as easy as you thought. But also, I wouldn't say my husband panics in all situations. He could he could calm down, but he panics in the sight of certain like uh, dangers. Like panic might be the wrong word. He definitely is able. I'll explain. Uh, there was once an earthquake in LA. They happen once in a while, but they're rare. And he immediately freaked out, grabbed my daughter, and was ready to bolt out the, you know, out the door and down the stairs, thinking the building, the apartment building, was gonna collapse. Meanwhile, I'm just like kind of like hanging out and like, oh god, that was kind of weird. And you know, because in my head, I'm like, it's an earthquake. They happen. And I lived in Japan for a couple years, so I'm kind of used to them. In fact, I didn't consider that earthquake particularly a strong earthquake. Uh, but that's how he kind of is. And likewise, like, when I was younger and we were first together, uh, I was putting away the dishes and I accidentally got a knife through one of my, one of my fingers, my pinky, I still have a scar. And I kind of started freaking out because it was bleeding like, ah! and then of course my, well, Basti, he saw the blood and he's like, oh, he's also freaking out because blood just, he didn't like it. Um... And so I remember having to calm myself down, to calm him down, to tell him what to do. Like, to drive me to the hospital. I'm like, drive me to the hospital? But that had to be a whole moment. So, the reason I bring this all up is that, like, why don't you just analyze the situation you're in and think what is the best course of action with two adults who are, you know, in my case, kind of short, uh, you know, man and a woman, and, like, who is better to confront, you know, whatever danger is in, or should we flee, or, you know, what what is going to work in that situation? And let me tell you this. This is what's happened. This has happened to me, like, multiple times. Now, Bastian, my husband, is, like, he's a very friendly guy. This is why he also takes on a lot of, like, you know, in terms of, like, uh, gendered roles. Like, to me, I don't get that, because, like, Yes, in some aspects, I take on the more traditional roles. I, Like I said, I usually am the one who cooks because I don't like his cooking. Uh, I fold the laundry and wash clothes because I have a lot of skin allergies and I want to make sure that it's the right stuff. And I don't like his folding style. Yes, that's a thing. So I prefer to fold my own clothes uh, or fold the family's clothes. Uh, but... Basti's much more sociable than I am, so he takes my daughter mostly out to, like, the park and to play dates, and he's friends with all the parents, and he's one of those, like, can-do dad types doing all kinds of daddy-dad, like, experiments and stuff. Like, that is real experiments. No, I mean meetings and, like, like adventures. Sorry, I just saw a cop next to me, and I'm like, am I not allowed to be vlogging in the car? I mean, I'm looking at the road, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> you always get nervous when you see a police officer next to you, even if you're doing nothing wrong, right? Um, but the reason I bring this up is because, like, I, I don't know what the argument is here. The, like, should the man 100% of the time, like, uh, confront somebody breaking into the house? First off, is it the right thing to do to confront a person breaking into your house? Maybe, maybe not. Like, analyze the situation here, people. Why is that so hard? Like, just, it depends, I suppose. Yes, um, maybe. Uh, I, I just hate that it's always like this perfect black and white issue that it always has to be. It's not. It's not, you know. Sometimes maybe just like figure out what's going on and who needs to do what and work as a team. Like, just do that. Work as a team. It took me so many years and that's been the, like, and I'm not saying my marriage is fucking perfect, because, you know, God knows I need to make some appointments for some counseling or some shit, because we have our, we have our issues, as all couples do. Um, but one of the most valuable things I had to learn about being with my husband is that we are a team. And we need to be a team as best as we can to forward ourselves as a family. Like, the family unit that we are, and we're not many of us, there's only three of us, and technically a dog and some parakeets, uh, but that is the most important thing. So, in a moment of danger, number one thing is to get our daughter to safety. We've, we've even had discussions about it, and I was one of these types, I know a lot of people don't have this conversation, but when I was, like, about, 
you know, before I went into labor and stuff, I did tell my husband, I said, if for some reason it's between me and the baby, save the baby. Like I, that's how I felt. That's how I feel. Save our child. That is the most important thing. And he likewise has said the same thing. Save our child. So what would be the thing to save our child? That's, that's just how I always analyze any kind of safety situations. And let me be clear that Basti and his friendliness, he's not always the most confrontational guy. He never has been, and I doubt he ever will be. And I, as a Latina crazy Miami bitch, oh man, can I go off on people. And guess what? Sometimes that has to be the case to get us out of trouble. Like, I remember one time, like, I saw some guy, and he was totally, you know, scammer type. I don't know if he was going to rob Basti, what the hell was going on. But, like, I, I sensed it immediately. I was like, danger, Will Robinson, danger. Also, I'm more from, like, I guess, it's not to say that he didn't live in more, like, dangerous areas. Like, but, you know, his where he grew up is totally not Miami. Let's just say that. Um, so, I don't want to say I'm more street smart than him, but I am a little bit. Or I'll, I'll claim that. Um... But in that situ in a couple situations like that, I I didn't exactly try and fight the guy. I knew exactly what's gonna what is gonna freak somebody out in this situation. Oh, crazy girlfriend, because nobody wants to deal with somebody's bitch going crazy. And so, like, I've had to basically pretend to be like a really hungry woman. This sounds so weird, but I'm totally true about this. So I see Bosti in a situation where I'm like, this guy looks like he wants to rob Bosti, and he's trying to get him to stop and talk to him, and I'm gonna, I'm, I gotta put a stop to this. So what do I do? I don't say, hey, dude, what do you want? Like, you know, I don't bring in that masculine energy. I'm gonna bring in bitch energy, and bitch energy is like, babe, I'm so hungry. I swear, if you fucking talk to one more guy right now I'm going to lose it okay and like no joke like it's just like I have such a good ability to do that <laughs> too good ability to do that and I can rant off and you know in knock on car in a lot of situations that has gotten us out of trouble because no one wants to be dealing with some bitch going crazy and so, and that also gives him the out of like, oh God, this guy, sorry, man, I can't talk to you. My woman's hungry. Gotta go. Now, like I said, it, do I consider that absolutely perfectly equal? No, like the world isn't absolutely perfectly equal between me and Bossy. Like I said, he's an athletic billy goat. I've broken both of my ankles. If he needs to run with our child in his arms, fucking bolt, honey. Bolt as fast as you can. I will run as fast as I can behind you, but don't, don't like, you know, don't. Just do that. And, sorry, that, that's how I feel about it. Can't, like, it's not black and white, and everybody has their version of the scenario. And if you don't, you should. Think about it. Think about it. Who is better at what, in what situation, what's gonna get you out, and work as partners as a team no more of this adversarial nonsense man versus women and anything in between for the love of fuck can we stop okay i'm at the gym now and i need to pee before my class starts so ta-ta for now